Okay, the leprechaun. Back at it. Dropping another one. And since my uh, video about 6 9 getting beat up got me the most views on YouTube, I guess I'm just going to follow up with the uh, entertaining the 6 9 business. I don't really like to talk about Fool because he, uh, you know, portrayed an image that wasn't real and it got him caught up and it got a lot of other people caught up. And I don't uh, condone that, but we in this for the views. So let's get into it. Surprise, surprise, 6 9 told on his assailants who jumped him and beat him up at the LA Fitness. On March 21st of this year, 2023, yeah, 2023, Palm Beach Sheriff's responded to a 911 call at the LA Fitness in uh, Lakewood, Florida. To Daniel Hernandez, also known as the rapper 6 9 And uh, it said he was assaulted by three Latino males. Now it's come out. They're known to be Latin kings. <clears throat> Two of the males were father and son. The father is a known documented Latin king member who was just recently released from prison. Who did 120 months on a RICO indictment. I believe it had to do with drugs. <clears throat> Six nine suffered injuries to his face, neck, chest area. He made a statement saying his shoes, cell phone, and car keys was taken. He also made a statement saying that he was scared for his life um, because they took his car keys. So if they got in his car, they could see where he he stayed at. Um, GPS and all that technology. Nine days after the incident took place, with 6 9 getting beat up, all three Latino males were in police custody. They, they're they being charged with second-degree second robbery and first-degree misdemeanor battery. All three men were able to get bond, so they, they probably bonded out already, the 10%. Uh, 6 9 been on interviews, been seen in Cuba. he been doing, uh, you know, dropping new music. Um, he even came out with a statement on, I think it was Instagram. And the statement said this. First time addressing the situation for two, oh, my bad. Let me, let me start over. First time addressing the situation. For two years, I've been walking around with no security, not saying I'll promote that, but now you see I really never hide from anything. If you ever crossed my path or ever came to my house, you girls know who you are. You can tell the world Danny drives his own cars and be solo. You know how many of you people see me in real life by myself in gas stations, supermarkets, restaurants, etc. Anyway, what happened here was nothing but cowardly. I'm not mad this happened. In the streets, there are no rules, so I can't say they were wrong. Obviously, it wasn't fair, but again, the streets has no rules. Just imagine having nothing to do with the situation and feel obligated to make it your business. Very weird. I'm happy to be here still, and I want to say I love my fans. Thank you. So that's that's the statement that six nine came out and and said um, on the IG Instagram post. Um, the three males that were arrested, their their names are known publicly. I'm not gonna say their names, but you know, two young dudes, 23 years old, 25 years old, and uh, the the 23 year old is the son of the the father, and the father is 43 years old and uh it's uh you know uh cra crazy situation um but like six nine said you know it's it's the streets and the streets have no rules and as far as him saying you know imagine feeling obligated to deal with a situation that has nothing to deal with you when it comes with the streets 
anyone who's in the streets, everybody deal with the streets. If you're really in the streets, everybody know each other. It's a black market business. It's a, you know, it's it's the streets. Even if you don't know someone, you probably know someone that knows someone that knows someone down the line. So, and and what he did by getting on the stand and testifying and snitching and, and ratting and, and telling on people, everybody in the streets look at that like it's a no-go. Um, you know, nobody likes a snitch. You know, pe people handle business um, when, when it's time to handle business if, you know, they about that. Um, and, and, you know, 6 9 is a prominent figure. You know, he's a, a rapper, a celebrity. He is known. So, really, that's like, you know, brownie points. Um, you know, it's like dude said in the video. If any of y'all watched the video of him getting beat up, dude said, I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be famous today. You going to make me famous, whatever he says, something around them lines. Well, he got what he wanted. Dude famous now. And that's, uh, you know, that's that's probably re really what it was, you know, getting brownie points for, for beating up on 6 9 um, I know a lot of people that would have done that if they would have seen 6 9 in public. I know a lot of people that would have, would have, you know, whooped on him, you know, take whatever change he got, any money in his pocket. You know, I, I know a lot of people right now to this day that would have done the same thing, again, for, you know, what whether it's because he a rat, publicity, um, you know, just getting them brownie points, getting that street credit, or doing it for all, all three, you know. Um, it's, uh, you know, not, not something I condone. I, do, I don't condone violence. I also don't condone getting on a stand and testifying, um, especially if you claim that you are a part of this lifestyle and in the streets. Um, that's, you know, it's, uh, you know, as they say, it is what it is. You know, you, you make your bed, you got to sleep in it, you got to lay in it. So, you know, watch what you say, watch what you do, watch how you act, watch what you think. And just, uh, you know, be aware, you know, be mindful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts and comments, what's on your mind. Was, uh, you know, did, did they take it too far, beating them up? Um, do you think, you know, 6 9 was right for getting on the stand and testifying? What are your comments about the situation? What are your thoughts? Let me know. But until next time, I'll catch you on the next one. Much love, peace, blessings, much gratitude. Appreciate you.